Let's get down, let's get down to business. Welcome to Doc Trailers, your source for information on documentary films. Today, Paul's going to be interviewing Mei Chow, director of Hayden and her family. But first, let's take a look at the trailer. So when we first adapted, I think it was your idea, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but I'm pretty easygoing about it, right? You are. He's very easygoing. Um, to the point where I'm very hesitant to tell him about a child because... I might say yes. <laughs> we started off just as any normal couple might, having children one at a time. When we adopted Min and Kies, basically all they said was, we're gonna adopt someone. And we're just like, okay. And then, a little bit later, we had twins. And I was feeling done and tapped out and really, really thought maybe our family was complete until she saw the picture of Hayden. Elizabeth had that feeling like, oh my goodness, this is my child. I feel like people look at our family from the outside and think, how do you do that? I don't think there's a limit on how many siblings I need to have. There's always room for one more. <laughs> we'll be bringing home Two little girls. Everybody welcome. This is yours. Well, home. It's hard to have new sisters all of a sudden. <laughs> Gigi, when we get to your story, you can switch places, okay? Before I adopted, I knew what it was like to love a child I gave birth to. And after we adopted, I learned that love is bigger and so much more multifaceted and deeper than just that biological connection. Daddy! Mommy! Okay, I'm gonna pass it over to Paul. Oh, hi. Welcome to DocTrailers.com. Uh, I was just uh, looking through The Hollywood Reporter and I didn't see anything at all about a great film by Mei Chow, who made a film, Hayden and her family. Thanks, Paul. It took six years to make this wonderful, wonderful film. And Mei, tell me uh, about why you fell in love with this idea and why you just had to make this film, why you were the one. Um. Well, this, this project kind of um, fell in my lap. I saw this little girl, Hayden, with his, you know, cranial deformity sitting in front of the church pew. And uh, she's very self-assurance and very you know, self-possessed, I would say, and uh, very confident and sweet. And I just thought, which family is raising this child? And then through her, I get to know the family. And after some persuasion, they agreed to be in the documentary. And you know what? Um, the reason why I made the film is because I was totally curious about why a family of seven, the Currys had seven biological children, they have adopted five special needs children. Why do they want to do that? You know, that is to me is is uh, ambitious altruism uh, in <laughs> in my book, and I say what prompt them to do that. So th those are the reasons why I started um, to get involved in this project in 2014 and took me six 
six years to follow them in their adoption journey. And I learned a lot from this experience. And I thought it's it's a good human stories. It's it's a it's a case study for the um for the Curry's humanity and also learn about um the special need the challenges of special needs. Um you know, the the despair, but also the joy, you know, and the rewards um, as an advocate piece for special needs adoption and also a mouthpiece for parents. Uh, a lot of adopt, adoptive parents don't talk about the bad part, you know, the sad part of adoption. And the Curries were very open to discuss that. And so I thought that was wonderful that, you know, we can all share their experience. And it uh, hats off to you for uh, being able to uh, walk into that family situation, that dynamic, and uh, make us feel like we were just the fly on the wall or the uh, surveillance camera on the wall and and just see what it is. And what I, what I found was the, just the generosity uh, and the um, generative nature of this person who just kind of seemed unflappable. It's like, well, why would you do that? It's like, because I could. And this is a child. And, uh, you know, she's filled with, I'm filled with divine love as is she. And I'm just making that, that contact. And what I was so impressed with was how well this child adapted this child um yeah it came well from um as, really extreme circumstance yeah as as most um you know the, uh, the, the uh, children from a different culture they have to learn how to adapt to the new family um with with anticipation as well you know when one part of hayden she knows herself she knows her her appearance, uh, you know, kind of um, doesn't look good. She wants to look like the rest of the family now. And and, and that to me is an ambitious um, uh, kind of a, a, a hope, you know, from a child's perspective. But the father also realized, realized that she can never look like the rest of them. But so, so there's this little tango of how she overcome her looks, and also overcome her her fear uh, of, of of this foreign culture, and also the curries on their part also earn her trust, and then so the, the two parties met and open up and uh, really uh, adopt each other, so to speak. Yeah. Well, there's a, a strange dichotomy in that she doesn't physically look like them, and then she's got the anomaly. But she does look like them in terms of her spirituality and her calmness and stuff like that. It's like, wow, how did you do that, kid? It's really kind of a miracle film. So uh, tell us some more about your approach and what do you want to see happen to your film? Because, you know, all documentary filmmakers are looking. Uh, I made this great film, such a labor of love. And uh, where does it belong and um, how, how can we help you find that audience that this uh, film so richly deserves? What, where, where does this, what would you like to see it play and, and how? First of all, Paul and Bob, I thank you for the opportunity. Um, it, is, um, it is my hope that more people will will see this film because it is, it's not a sexy film. It's not a, an activist film, you know, but it is a film who talks about some of the very basic human needs of what it means to be a family, even if it's a diverse family, a culturally different. And um, especially nowadays where um, people are more tolerant about you know, adoption families, you know, people of different uh, ethnicity. Um, people are not very accepting to special needs, to understand special needs or disability for that matter. So I hope the target audience will reach this kind of 
target audience. Um, uh, besides the uh, adoption um, uh, agencies or organizations, I hope to reach out to the faith-based community. Uh, I think there is some ground to be um, to talk about how the Curries themselves are Christians, and they, you know, really take this journey on faith. I mean, they they don't have millions of dollars to, you know, to cultivate this 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 kind of a uh, uh, special needs adoption. Um, also, I also want to, I hope that I can reach out to um, the education um, uh, in psychology, I think is very useful in social work is very, uh, and family studies, children's studies. Um, so I, I hope to be able to reach out to people who are involved in this area of work and, um, and uh, with, with uh, you know, in, in my website, there is a how to contact piece that I, I hope people can reach me and we can work it out for a screening or, or Q&A afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, the Currys themselves are very generous with the time and we have done a few of this and they always comply and talk about their experience, which I think is wonderful. Their experience is not like the normal family experience and they are very generous to impart their wisdom and also the pitfall the pitfall you know um if if it's it's it become you know that the 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 that we can all learn from um yes i'd say in the uh era of loud and crazy uh this is a very uh quiet contemplative spiritual film it's just in the practice the everyday practice of teaching the kids making the food doing the laundry going to the store being a family that dynamic um i found uh, profound you know they they have uh built a community uh within a community Yes. And, yes. Uh, it seems to be working really well. I mean, and and serve those children uh, so well. Yes. Um. You know, just from the Curry's experience, Elizabeth Curry um doesn't take this lightly. All her children are home, a home school. Can you imagine all twelve of them? <laughs> you have the whole day teaching these kids. And she's almost a Renaissance woman. She could she make bread, you know. She cooks her own food. I mean, that's just for um, for for her budgeting purpose, budgeting she takes, financially. Uh, maternal and time. duties very seriously. She really, really does. Yeah. She's, she's so uh, focused. I'm sure there's no time for uh, TikTok or Facebook for her because you know this is in her face, and it's and it's not like well. I'm kind of over that. And it's like, she's so present. There's a real message for all of us to be present. Yeah. And uh, uh, despite all that, she still make time to do a block for herself. Mm. I think it's therapeutic as well. You know, mm. when she talks about the bad part of the day or the bad part of that episode or whatever, um, especially Ting Ting has some big issues. Um, uh, and she will be very honest about it and how she lose her cool and how she come back to it. Um, it's all wonderful. I think in terms of how parents, it, it's another aspect of parenting, I would say. And it's so, so interesting that um, from coming from chaos that Hayden, um, who the film's named after, becomes the little mother and yeah. models uh after uh the mother and and becomes one that helps with the little kids so as, as opposed to being taking energy away and taking focus away she steps in and she absorbs that and she really uh is a very amazing contributing member to this yes. uh, family dynamic yes yes um I, I think, you know, I, I think it's not all peaches and cream, too, that I think you observe uh, that the younger biological children, the twins, uh, Gigi and Linia, 
they act up. They're always in your face. So I think from a parent's point of view, that is something to pay attention to, you know? Um, so I think all the family dynamics and all the, the I think the, the, the ability to change lives is pretty much um, told in the story um, that these children has, I don't know, in terms of like a better life, I, I'm sure it is a better life, but, you know, to change the destiny of people who are little children who are being discarded because they're no longer uh, viable up there and not, um, um, their, their um, handicaps or deformity, I think it's amazing that these children's lives, they're very lucky that they are changed. Speaking about uh, changing, how did this change your life, May? Because it must have. I mean, you know, yes. you don't take a thing on like that and, and be so in such proximity with these people. And it's, it's such an intimate experience. And then just like, oh, well, that's just my job. It is, uh, no, that's not it. So how did it change your life? I think um, for me, it's a really a, a, a lot of introspection. I ask myself, can I do that? Um, I, 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 I don't think I can do, do it the way, the scale that the Currys can do. You know, I learn about my own limitations um, and it also evoke a lot of compassion for me when I, uh, when I see how th their other people live. I, I live in my own bubble because I, uh, I, you know, I am now, um, doing the things I love to do. My children are grown. I have all the time to myself. I haven't given thoughts in terms of how I can change other people's lives, uh, and this pretty much kind of evoked that sentiment. Uh, and, but you, uh, but uh, many films, you know, we go from being a spectator. It sounds like this is uh, for with being a participant. It's like if you read something, if you see something, what does this mean in terms of you taking it in? How does this change you? What is the meaning? You know what I mean? Like, what what is the meaning of art? Why do we watch it? You know what I mean? And and so you 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 li you've lived that. You know, you ask those questions. It's like, wow, look at that dynamic. I'm not there, but what do I take out of the experience that makes me a different person, a better person, more tender, more present, more sensitive, more peaceful? And it sounds like that that really had it for you. And um, I guess you, in the process of doing this, did, did you give up your career as an uh, art director at an advertising agency for this? I mean, you know, you kind um, of walked away from that. I walked away because, okay, this is my philosophy of life, Paul. Every person, I mean, every life have a season, okay? There's a season of, you know, pushing your career and blah, 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 raising children. There's a season for that. And now I am in a season of doing something I want to do. And in my own small way, hoping to use my work to impact some lives, you know, and, 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 and raise awareness of how other people live. So um, that's why I've been doing that since 2010. Uh, so, you know, 12 years and man, it's hard work. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is hard work. Interior work is hard work. Yeah. Uh, being an artist is hard work. Yes. Uh, yes. It doesn't come with a big uh, paycheck and uh, a yeah. statuette of a uh, little Oscar. And, yeah. but, but you know what? Uh, it changed you and it it's changed lives. And um, I really highly high recommend this film. I think it's uh, terrific. May, you've done just amazing work uh, and uh, your art direction background really shows in the framing and the feeling in the story and um, I'm really grateful for you sharing this time with us and uh, I, I love your work and if I was the head of the studio I'd have you in a meeting right away and say what's the next film <laughs> because uh, you are so talented and I appreciate your time so much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you no, this is my pleasure. 
thank you all for being here on Doc Trailers. Watch the trailer. Check out the information that May has loaded up and uh, see if you could bring a community screening to uh, your church, synagogue, community center, uh, because this film is really not to be missed. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. It's my pleasure, and thank you for the opportunity uh, and the time. Um, I would love to share this film with the with you and everyone else. And uh, please uh, contact me via my website. <laughs>